Tyrox Extended Order Entry is a feature-packed replacement for the Sage 300 order entry screen that provides increased functionality and faster access to orders, customers, and items. Let's launch the program and open an order so you can see what's been added to the standard screen. The first thing you'll see are the Smart Finder buttons for looking up orders and customers. There's also one below the item grid for looking up items. We'll look at the Smart Finders in a moment. There are other new buttons on the screen. An Update Orders button, Ship button, Order Margin button, Create Purchase Order button, Order from History button, and OE Forms button. And you'll see an All Locations grid that displays item quantities for other company databases and locations such as for Sam Inc. and Sam LTD. This grid can appear in a separate window or at the bottom of the extended order entry screen. If you scroll through the order detail fields, you'll also see additional columns for margins, markups, and most recent costs. I'll add a new item to the order to show how the item finder works. I'll click the item finder button to display the item smart finder, then enter light in the search field. Notice that light returns several items, some with light in the description and some with light in the comments. I'll add the word desk to narrow down the search, like you would with an internet browser. And now I have one matching item, a desk light. I'll double click it to add it to the order and then enter a quantity. All Tyrox Smart Finders are fast and easy to use. Depending on your settings, you can click the All Locations button or look down at the bottom of the screen to check item quantities at all affiliated locations. You can display item quantities for every location at each affiliated company or for a specific group of locations. For example, all locations in one region. Let's look at how you can create a new order for customer 1200 using a previous order as a template. We'll assume that Ronald Black has a standard monthly order, so it's easiest to start this month's order from a previous one. I'll click the New button, enter 1200 for the customer number, and then click Order from History. You can select various filter criteria and click the Load button to display all of the matching orders. In this case, I'll enter a date range, October 2019 through December 2019, and then click the Load button. You can click an order in the top grid to see the details in the bottom grid, and you can even drill down to the original order by clicking the Order Number column heading. I can now select all items on the order, and can also click the Include button to add or remove items. You can change the order quantity right in the grid, and then click the Order button to copy them to the Order Details grid using the historical or current pricing. I'll use current pricing. I'll post the order, then create a PO to cover the items. When I press the Create Purchase Order button, you'll notice that the program didn't go out and blindly create a purchase order for some items and not for others. Instead, it displays a grid so I can choose which items to order, and it provides a number of options for creating POs. First, it lets me either create POs using the vendor details and item records or by using a single vendor for all items. It also lets me add new items to an existing purchase order. In this case, I'll create POs using the vendor details in item records, which means that two different POs will be created because the vendors are different. If the item vendor has not been defined in inventory control, the status column will include a message saying that the PO can't be completed. You can scroll to the vendor column in the grid and add the vendor number for this PO. I'll enter Ron Black as the order description in the reference. You can see several other options for transferring information to the POs, including comments, instructions, and optional fields at the header, detail, and kit or bomb levels. Let's select both items to create the purchase orders for the quantities shown. 
and there they are. You can click the column heading to drill down to the PO details. Another powerful feature is Update Orders. Click the Update button, and then click the drop-down to choose how you want to update the customer order. The program displays a wide set of choices. For example, you can update the ship to address on the order to match changes that were done for the customer records, or you can substitute item numbers on unshipped orders. In this case, we're going to change the expected ship date of all items on the order and for the order itself. Note the warning about the deliver by date. You can also move this date back to match the ship date. Ship by picking sequence functionality is most useful when a large order has been picked and now the picked items have to be recorded as shipped. Click the load button to list the items by picking sequence, then enter the quantity shipped. The OE forms button lets you quickly print a number of order related forms without posting an order or navigating to another window. To streamline picking slip printing, you can use the settings choice on the extended order entry file menu to select picking slip default settings. So you don't need to answer these questions in a pop-up dialog box when you go to print. Select the first checkbox at the top of the form to change picking slip printing behavior. Choose the print destinations, report form, and sorting order for picking slips and choose other print options. These settings bypass the setup and printing slip print dialogs. Before concluding this overview, I'd like to show you how extended order entry lets you drill down to the extended customer inquiry screen. Click the inquiry button at the top of the screen to view up to 20 tabs of customer information. For example, you can see all past orders, invoices and receipts. That completes a quick look at Extended Order Entry, one of over 50 Tyrox productivity tools. Please visit the Tyrox website for more detailed information about productivity tools and other Tyrox products for Sage 300.